Yo, what is going on, man? This is how kicking it introduced us to the GOAT of Karate Kid. You know what I'm saying? Hey, by Blank Boy, y'all hit that like, hit that sub, man. Y'all ask for this, man. I got some beautiful ladies on here. Go ahead, introduce yourself. Let them know where they can find you at. Hey, guys, y'all can find me on my Instagram, underrated.asia1. Don't forget the one. And my TikTok, hi off. Asia. Well, high off that Asia. Hey y'all, I'm A Labelle. You can find me on every social media at A Labelle One, except for TikTok. It's Bell Mama Six Time. What's up, y'all? I'm Kiara. I was known as Kiara XOX. You can find me on YouTube, Kiara XOX, TikTok dot Kiara XOX, and IG underscore underscore Kiara XOX. Yeah, yeah, the fat red guy. I've been seeing way too much disrespect on Jack Brewer's name by even having him in conversations with Miguel and Dre and Chen. This man was fighting super intelligent androids, scaling skyscrapers. He one time cracked a board and the cinder blocks holding it up got disintegrated. He's different. So it was my son Jack's first day out of new school. He woke up hitting the great stare and now he's asking a lunch lady what the good eats is. And she talking about how this is straight chum bucket food. I wouldn't recommend any of it. He then Ooh. turns hey, away. And how you gonna do that? And you the lunch lady. You know what I'm saying? Man, you see what's on that plate? That's nasty. <laughs> That's nasty. You telling me this is mystery meat? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Meat ain't no mystery. Hey, you I ain't in front of lunch lady unless she wear that little cap on her head. What the hair net? They the one with the hair net. They know how to cook. No cap. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> putting that work in like mandatory <laughs> that mean? you had a one lady in the back hey she know how to whip it up i got this special for you i brought this cooking for you young man you know what i'm oh, saying wow, here you go <laughs> <Send me one. laughs> yeah wasted no time instantly got to risen up kim dudes get around the hose and start doing anything bro now all of a sudden he leano messi he sits down with Eddie, Jerry, and Milton, and they straight getting bullied by the Black Dragons. What? These dudes out here throwing meatballs at their head. Black Jack's dang. like, dang, don't y'all know karate? Go whoop them. But look at them, bruh. They don't got the physical attributes for this. A squad of straight Noah Lyles. He got anxiety, asthma, chicken pox, schizophrenia, allergic to apple skin, and still won the 100 Damn, meters. I ain't Truly no inspirational. Milton that? pretends like he on that time in, but gets humbled real quick. So Jack goes over there and tells them they look like cheerleaders in those fits. This joke would not fly today. Hey, There's yo. nothing wrong with boys wearing skirts and girls doing construction and beating their husbands when they get back home. It's 2024. <laughs> so Frank starts emoting and Jack's like, hey, bro, I'm trying to just eat my delicious school mac and cheese. But Frank's not accepting that. So he goes for a punch and Jack grabs. Probably did Jack a favor, save them from fighting straight demons on the toilet later. And Jack says the line. Okay, you probably shouldn't have done that. Eight-year-old me hearing that always knew it was over for the ops. Up there with I'm going ghost. Danny oh. Danny. Oh. Smash. Why don't you go fall your punk like ass it. granddad back to Whitesville? Fake nigga. Jack twists his arm and kicks Frank across the table. Knowing how schools be, that's probably the closest thing to a cleaning is finna get. Then slaps two kicks away and ducks to left. Milton now here camping under the table like the weird kid just yelled, That's it! and reached in his bag. This is why I was always nice to the kids getting beat up and spit on for being chopped. Come nice. on, bro. Get up and dust yourself off, ugly ass nigga. Jack grabs and kicks a chair, then kicks bro to take a seat in that chair. And I want y'all to notice how still no teacher has come yet. They too busy in the break room right. talking shit about 12 years. Right, Jack manages to Where's walk security? through the tents, duck a kick, break bro's ankle, and blocks a kick. Then gets scared. Must have peeped bro is Asian and didn't want to get done like Dre did for hitting shitty dance moves. So he runs on the table yeah. causing a miss and the other just dolphin dives across the table. I know bro sprinted out of his classroom of five students and eight teachers to join this fight. Even in the heat of battle, Jack's still shit. risen and flips to dodge a kick. I know all the other boys watching this hating right now. What's the new kid's name again? Cornelius? Bro mad extra, nigga think he's Simone Biles. Jack goes and ducks his punch, grabs bro by the wrist and the shoulder, shoving his face into a bowl of school lunch. He's trying to fucking kill this man. That food will burn his face off. Jack got bro looking like an ass eater, using him as a shield. Oh, Kicks Frank and... <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that, whatever there was on his face threw me off. It looked like oh, or something. It, his face off. Yeah. It looked like he ran into a bowl of shit. <laughs> Pretty much, yes. I can say that word. Everywhere. <laughs> Hey, he's saying like eating ass. You know, if this, if you gotta do that, then mm, mm, mm. 
You need to disinfect your face. You know what I'm saying? Disinfect oh your God. face. Burn it. Great butt to face. Dunn gave this man a what? booty concussion. What? We're seeing nothing but Polo G albums circling in his head right now. Straight ass. <laughs> Jack then grabs Dookie face, launching him in the trash, clean recovery, and peeps on the table that someone left their crocodile meatballs there. And this is when Jack shows his IQ, using it as a weapon. Contact with one of these meatballs might cause a mutation, school of straight X-Men. He goes over, kicking them in the air, and uses them to plug up all Frank's holes in his face. Bro just casually solo squatted wow. three black dragons by himself with tight ass jeans on. Nigga look like he from ATO. This the number one karate <laughs> students in the state getting laid out. Jack peeps everything he just did and has post nut clarity. What have I done? And decides to just dip out. So fast forwarding to season two, Jack is now that guy. But the previous that guy before Jack moved to town named Carson pulls up and they spar using bow staffs. And Carson crushed his bow staff in half in front of everyone and then went and crushed his girl. Jack knows Carson no. cheated, but his friends don't believe him. So he said, fuck y'all and joined the ops, the black dragons to get his run back. And these boys get what? straight to work, oh. taking turns blocking each other. We LeBron versus so MJ type timing, the battle of the titans. This like That's if so Neon funny. and King Sid yeah. went video for video, but actually had good content. Oh. Jack blocks Carson, gets his kick ducked, and Carson need to take his ass mm. into a league with all that. As Jack blocks three attacks, but gets his wrist grabbed we? and swings the left that gets caught, hitting a clean flip, grabbing Carson, slamming him right on his ass. Yeah! That's for being a cheater, nigga! Jack at Carson going out sad. Look at this man hitting the revive me. Even went as far as to untie his own hand wraps so that he could get a timeout. Man, this is going in the cop out hall of fame. Awesome. And I would know. I used to lose to my homie and be like, yeah. all right, grandma, pass the sticks. Let me play now. Bro goes to the bench and starts putting extra hard padding in his hand wraps. And Kim what? comes over to talk to him. And bro, oh, could it be more cheated. obvious? Niggas be like, how you knew I was mixed? Bro making up all type of random excuses. Damn, I can't hit my comment behind. Peace. Bitch. Hey, if she went to you that fast. If she went to your man's that fast. She wasn't worth it, bro. <laughs> Over there wearing matching great colored shirts. <laughs> <laughs> She's a thought. That's it, bro. You gotta leave her. Oh my gosh. I don't know why you sitting there trying to trying to fight over her. That's crazy. Tripping. She runs over to Jack to snitch, and he said, "He's hiding something in his wraps. You have to stop the fight, bitch." Kim, I got this. <laughs> My boy not worried at all. Oh, Jack, I saw Carson stuff some of Kim K's ass in his hand wraps. The round starts and they go a combined 2 for 3 between the two of them. And this right here is where Jack realized he should have maybe pulled a Candace Flynn and got to snitching. Because out of nowhere, Carson done turned into fucking Mr. Incredible. How did bro get a buff mid-fight? Jack and him were already mm. pretty equal and he does this? This like if Josh Giddy and Draymond Green were running ones and then Draymond Green pulled out a 15 year old mid game to distract them. Mad unfair. What? Carson then jumps hitting the Superman and lays Jack clean out to the mat. And for some reason, this is mad personal for Carson. And I'm not really sure why. Yeah, Cause dog stomps on Jack and tells him to get up. Bro, you cheated, took my girl, then cheated, cheated again, again. And you're mad at me? A straight boy. Why are y'all so mad that I'm ugly? Carson gets disqualified on the spot because you can't do that. But Jack said, nah, don't disqualify him. Forget about it. Let's keep going. I don't want this hair nigga damn win. Keep in mind, he so knows Carson's cheating too nah. and don't even care. Bro rips off his gi. Motherfuckers be blaming anything when they lose. It's not the gi, bro. Like it was literally yeah, imagine sure being already 100 degrees outside, outside damn near being 100 degrees in the gym. So 100 plus 100 almost equals 200 degrees Celsius, bro, in the gym. Exactly. No, I'm playing under. So I'm already playing in harsh weather conditions too, bro. Not right. to make excuses, but I'm just letting everybody know. So Jack's two kicks right? get blocked, moves a left, a right, <laughs> left hook, <laughs> and a right uppercut landing. <laughs> and, <laughs> and damn, maybe I need to shut up and just mind my business. It might have dead ass been <laughs> McGee. Jack moving different right now. Jack manages to block Carson, weave a left, and throws Carson backwards. He's locked in. And Carson thinking with his dick and not his brain. Bro so thirsty to put Jack to sleep in front of the hose. So he goes for it. flip, but Jack goes flip for flip, blocking his kick, landing a kick to the side, then to the chest. And this is where Carson gets exposed. We saw you nigga in those Discord chats asking for the sketch leaks. As him and Jack go for a punch and Jack literally breaks the padding. This man literally has super strength and y'all telling me Dre or Miguel could fight him? 10 minutes into the fight and Jaden Smith finna be like, I wanna go home. 
Jack lands a spinning back kick on Carson, and that's GG's fight is over. So for backstory, Jack before joining the Wasabi Warriors hadn't done karate in years because his cousin Kai whooped him so bad he quit. So at a tournament in China, Jack is out here going brazy, and so is Kai in his own deranged ass way. But fresh out the bathroom, Jack gets jumped. Niggas ain't even let him get a chance to wipe his ass yet or nothing. And Kai comes in conveniently last minute to save him, but it was too late. Jack's hand had already been broken. So because no one else here has a chance against Kai, he wins. But Jack notices his homie is one of the ones that attacked him, so he figures it out. Kai was scared to fight me. So after Jack presses him and goes to walk away, Kai kicks his ass to the ground. He trying to box. Keep in mind, broken hand. They stay having to nerf my guy. This like what the DC execs did when they casted Gal Gadot alongside the actual other good actors. I need you to give me the stone. Oh. What happened to it? I, I guess every championship it. team needs its role players. Kim and Rudy make sure everyone else moves. Back up. They run in the ones. And they ain't even really try to get in there for real. Kai looking back <laughs> like, damn, I'm fighting him alone? Fuck, man. I'm mad too. <laughs> Kai kicks Jack, then blocks his kick, then kicks him in his broken hand. That boy fighting dirty wouldn't be surprised if he throw dirt in his eye next. Kai's roundhouse kick gets ducked, but lands a spinning back kick. And if you don't know this episode because you were watching trash shit instead like a dog with a blog, or were just too old for Disney XD at this point, which in that case... It's all old and dried out, like that man right there. Thick ass motherfucker. But yeah, they're fighting on top of the Great Wall of China. For the France competition, niggas gonna be boxing on top the Eiffel Tower. Jack weaves his kick, getting his blocked, ducking twice, missing one spinning kick, but landing the next. Kai goes crashing into a statue and picks up a bow staff to fight the cripple that is Jack right now. Come here, Professor X, don't roll away, nigga! As Jack ducks one and flips out the way of the other, but this is where he has his first slow moment of the video. Because his ass swears he's Avatar Aang, thinking he could dodge all the bow staff hits, but this is a bad position to be in. The height of each wall is like 26 feet, that's a certain death fall. Knowing all them kicks gonna be real useful at the pop smoke function, but Kai yanks him off landing him right on his back. Jack's so OP though, he's immune to getting the wind knocked out of him, and even crazier, immune to broken backs. Cause he rolls immediately what? out the way and they wrestle for the staff causing Kai to fall over the edge. Kai starts begging for his life and of course Jack's pulling him up. But this man Kai starts maniacally laughing telling Jack not gonna lie gang, you shouldn't have saved me. I would have let your ass drop. Grabbing his broken yeah, hand, punching it and goes for the kick but Jack reverses it sending him flying Ew. and that's GG's. The most OP karate kid of all time, Jack Brewer. Put some respect on his name. I ain't gonna say it no more. That's GG's. You tossed him into a bench. Tossed him right into a bench. That was crazy right what? there. What y'all think about that? That was cool. That was interesting. Yeah. That was a lot. It was interesting. Okay, so First guys, of all, I always had his friend just switched up on him like that. Uh, like, that come on. That was, was that was crazy work right there. How you going to do that? That was a plot really how he did it at the end. That was a lot. Boy, straight hitting the boy. Boy, and he instantly hit him. And, right, it was like instantly. I was like, that's so, that's so messed up. Yeah, dang, he knew his arm was hurt, and you was his friend, fake friend at that. You know what I'm saying? And um, I seen a few episodes. I seen a few episodes. Asia really the only one that know about it though. I didn't right. do nothing about none of that. Yeah, no. I fit in the too old category for it. I didn't oh, okay. watch a lot so of what, what, what didn't it show you watch? I look, I think it was in the day of like That's So Raven and like the Lizzie McGuire girl and it, I'm old, okay? Okay, ain't nothing wrong with it. Hey, <laughs> y'all let me know what Disney show y'all like, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go follow these beautiful ladies. Thank y'all so much for coming out. No cap, man. Y'all hit that like, hit that sub, man. We all gang.